Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm just coming at you with a short and sweet review just about the newest color launched by Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I'm talking here about her glorious, lovely, beautiful, expensive lipsticks. Charlotte Tilbury, of course, is a very, very well-known makeup artist and she also owns her own makeup line company, or however we want to name it. Uh, not everything. To be completely honest, I think that not everything is worth splurging on, but there are some things which are really, really exceptional. Charlotte Tils Tilsbury is a person behind Tom Ford cosmetics as well. So very often you'll find this formula, Tom Ford's and Charlotte Tilbury's are very, very similar. Uh, that is the case with eyeshadows and lipsticks. I bought my lipstick in Covent Garden shop. Uh, it was normally available without any, any problems. I think it was around £24 or so. New Pillow Talk lipstick is, of course, based on her best-selling lip liner in the color Pillow Talk. As we all know, uh, the best way of, you know, making your lips appearing bigger uh, is to overdraw them. If you like this concept and you like overdrawing your lips just slightly to make them appear a bit bigger but still natural, the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner I think is the best one ever. So, uh, as I said, Charlotte Tilbury just launched, uh, just launched her newest lipstick, uh, in fact two lipsticks. One is called Valentine, it's a slightly pinkish nude color, I would say too pink for my liking, uh, but the other one is called Pillow Talk of course, it's a bit darker than the Valentine. This one is in this matte finish. I must say it's not very very matte, so if you are expecting something more powdery on the lips, uh, that may be not the best one for you, uh, but the color is just lovely and I think it's just perfect to really uh, make your lips appear, appear bigger. It's like a dark neutral nude it's, it looks almost like my lips to be honest my lips might be, but better you know so that's the pillow talk uh, lip liner i would just compare them side by side so that's the lip liner and that's the pillow talk lipstick the newest one so you can see the lipstick is a bit lighter than the lip liner and it's sheerer of course and it's not as matte as the lip liner is so that's the lipstick if you just pat it on and lip liner it's difficult to move <laughs> you, i'll just show you how does it look on the lips right now using pillow talk lipstick and a lip liner okay, let me just line my lips with pillow talk lip liner of course so i'm just slightly overdrawing them okay Okay, so that's the effect just with the um, liner, with Pillow Talk liner. As you can see, it's very, very, very natural. So just few swatches. That's a Pillow Talk, that's Max Spice, that's, that's Mac Sore, Mac Boldly Burr. And the last one, it's Mac Wheel. But I would say that Boldly Burr is the most similar one. All right, so let's go with the lipstick now. So that's the lipstick on top of uh, our Pillow Talk liner and I think it looks really, really nice, really natural, not too matte and not too shiny also. It's like a satin finish. I really like that color and it's like a perfect everyday nude in my opinion and I'm sure I will enjoy it. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.